Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kim Blatty. Lovely to have you back. So this video was supposed to be about predicting what we're going to see in the preview of Homecoming that was going to be aired at Gwent Open. I wanted to talk about um, what I think we're going to see because I've read a lot of other people's and I didn't agree with them. So I wanted to put my ideas forward. Now, I obviously have to prerequisite this by saying that we're not going to see anything at Gwent Open anymore. It's been announced by Pavel that he's got no news for us for Gwent Open. It was supposed to be aired before the finals, I believe. Um, unless they do something on a whim, like a surprise, CD Projekt Red do do things like, oh, there's a PTR and it's now, it's available now, or it's available tomorrow, or here's a card, or here's an ability, just tell you. I mean, one of the things I liked Reth asked for was his really... He was connected well with the community. Now, some people don't like some of his responses um, on Reddit, but, you know, I really liked it because when I went to uh, CD Projekt Red, we did a stream for the Nilfgaard build, and they weren't going to reveal any Nilfgaard information, but Rethas made a decision that people wanted it, and they were to reveal Amir, Fire and Reason's ability, and the Nilfgaard passive. So he, he really was good at... Um, like understanding that we need some things to gestate on and and speculate about as and CD Projekt Red do do that type of thing I wouldn't it's not planned it'll be on a whim if they do you know keep a close eye on Pavel's Twitter the best thing but uh, they, they're not going to air anything regarding homecoming that went open okay so again this video is still I'm still going to trudle along with it about predicting what we will see when we do get to see that particular thing. Now, we do know some information about it. Luigi and Pavel have pre-recorded a video. The video is 10 minutes long, and it's going to introduce us to Homecoming. Now, I saw on Reddit a lot of people were thinking that we're going to look at Asaya and how she's changed and Sabbath and different cards. And people were a lot mentioning a lot of cards that they thought were going to change and, and how they're going to change and stuff. And I disagreed with that at all. Um... I actually think we won't see any of that sort of stuff. I think the main things they'll focus on are the core things that are going to change with Homecoming. Obviously, the board uh, with the two rows, that's going to be the main thing they need to go over. It's very important that they make sure they discuss it, which is why I think it's pre-recorded, so they can make sure it's edited, so it's fluent and, and not um and ah and they don't forget anything, um, which is absolutely perfect. I really... I think that's the best thing they could have done because they need to explain the two row system they need to explain why it's happening what why they felt it was good over the three row system uh, and they're not allowed to just say that the cards are bigger okay um they need to talk an in depth about the strategy involved on placing a unit on the front row and the back row because as far as we're aware the last piece of news we got was that there were benefits for playing a unit on the front row over the back row like you may get one extra strength or you may get one piece of armor they were the 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 community ideas but i think that is something cd Projekt red were going for so they need to talk about that in depth and talk about the strategy and maybe emulate some ideas of how that could actually be useful now we may see some cards during this time i'm thinking some of the important cards to help us um, put our mind at ease. I would recommend showing something like Lacerate, something like Weather, uh, something like Geralt Igni. These things which will deal a lot of damage to a row and uh, we need to be put at ease a bit that they've kind of, they've acknowledged that that's an issue because there's only two rows so you're going to fill up quite a lot. Um, so, you know, I'm talking a lot already and just on this, uh, on this two row system. We need to know what the row limit is. We need to know if tokens will stack together to allow the row limit, if there is one, to to be still quite nice. We won't get filled out on all our rows with just loads of little Arrakis hatchlings. Um, I think that's one of the main things we'll see. We're not going to see loads of different cards in the collection, like I mentioned, but we may see some important cards as they're played, and they may focus on some cards like Lacerate, which will be quite defining if it's not changed, I think. Um... The next thing they need to do is we may go over leaders and the initiative, the coin flip issue. This is a big seated issue. And if they've got something there, then they will want to show it. We'll hopefully see it. I reckon we will actually see uh, just a game. 10 minutes is about right for a game. 
Pavel and Luigi will probably talk through a game because it's going to be the most practical way to show us what they've got so far. Uh, they may want to keep some things hidden, which is why I think we won't actually look at the collection because balance will still be happening. Um, but I think we might see the coin flip and leader initiative, if that's still a thing, and ways that leaders have changed to be more versatile with passives. Um, this is something which I think would interest a lot of people as well. And finally, the UI is another thing which obviously we'll see just we'll see just by playing um, the the overall art style change. The borders for cards will change, and you know everything will get darker, more gritty, and more Witcher three esque, um, which is really good. That's not something they'll probably show. Um, they'll probably just it'll probably just happen as we do as we see it. But those are the main things that I think we'll see. Like I said, I think we'll just get a game, but it's, it could happen that we may get like a minute or two of the very official uh, trailer style stuff where the guy says um, the battle, uh, the board is the battlefield and your cards are your forces. You place cards onto the board and, you know, and all it goes in and, and it makes a big massive effect. So um, we may we may get some of that more official. This is how Gwent is now. Um, but I really think we'll just see a game being played by Luigi and Pavel, pre-recorded, so it's it's fluent and, and clear and precise, and they can say what they need to say, which is perfect. Now, it's 10 minutes I've already discussed, but we're not getting at Homecoming. We don't quite know why we're not getting at Homecoming yet. I think during Homecoming, or to, when it's finished, is when we'll get to know why they actually delayed it or are not showing it. Um... I actually understand why they wouldn't. Um, I actually thought they would really show it. I had no reason to disbelieve. Some people are cynical and thought they wouldn't, but they turned out to be correct. Um, I actually thought they would show it because he mentioned that it's been recorded now and that they've done it and they've been in the recording booth and it's 10 minutes long. And so I was really ready for it to be revealed. But I understand why they, why they didn't because they've got to make sure it's, it's right before they do it. It may just be that they didn't have time to edit it. I don't know, but you'd think um, three or four days is probably enough. Anyway, that's that's what I really think we'll see in the Homecoming preview when we get to see it. I guess you could ask the question of when I think we're going to see it. Um, I think we'll see it, um, obviously not home, uh, not Gwent Open. I think we'll just see it on a particular day, maybe during some uh, community event or something. Um, I don't know when the next community event is. I think it's it's too long to wait until Gwent Challenger. There is a, I believe, Pavel is joining some for, some of talk show, which he often does, um, quite relatively soon after Gwent Open, so we may get some information there. I'd recommend just checking out uh, Pavel's Twitter, and I'll try and keep things up to date as well. But that's it for this video. Let me know if you agree with what we'll see. Um, whether you actually thought it would be delayed. I, like I said, I really didn't myself. I thought we'd get to see it. I guess you could ask, are you actually going to watch Gwen open? I don't know if I will, actually. Um, there's always a chance that it will come out as a surprise, but I'm sure I'll hear about it other ways. Um, thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. I'll see you again very soon.